Hi, I'm Dr. May Sikiang. I'm an OBGYN and I'm affiliated with Makati Medical Center and St. Luke's Medical Center, BJC. Pap smear is actually a routine test that all women who are sexually active should have it done once a year. Why is it important? Pap smear is the screening method to detect early signs of cancer in the cervix. In Tagalog, it's pwede ng matres. Because once you are sexually active, there is a possibility for you to get already the HPV virus, which is the one that is causing cervical cancer, which is transmitted sexually. So once you're sexually active, no matter how young you are, you have to start having the pap smear. Once you get infected with HPV virus, which you might not know, nobody will know sometimes, there's no sign and symptoms, then your risk for having a cervical cancer will be higher. It's important to detect cancer early so that we can help you cure it or manage it. If you don't do pap smear, then sometimes you go to the doctor when you're bleeding already in stage 3 or 4, which is unfortunate because at stage 1, it is easier to manage. Second, if you don't do pap smear every year, uh, you won't even know if you are at risk or not. So sometimes, it will give us already an idea that you are at risk. It will not tell us that you have cancer right away. The fact that you are at risk, we will be able to tell you now to do it more often. So sometimes if you are at risk, we will do your ultrasound or your pap smear rather every six months instead of every year. And then sometimes the pap smear can also detect infection. So let's say you have abnormal discharge or smelly discharge, you know, or sometimes you have this uh, abnormal like watery discharge or fishy odor. You know? So when you're going to the doctor and you know that you will get a pap smear, or there's a possibility that you will have a pap smear, it would be easier if you wear a skirt because we're going to ask you to remove your underwear. So imagine if you remove pants, pa, tight fitting and all that, it will be more difficult but even for you. Second, don't be afraid of pap smear. No? So I don't understand why a lot of people are still afraid of pap smear. They feel like, Dok, masakit yan. Sabi ng kaibigan ko, sabi ng ganito ko, sabi ng... It's actually not painful but it is uncomfortable. Why? Unfortunately, the position pa lang is already uncomfortable na higa ka, you have to open your legs, no? But the wider that you open it, the more relaxed you are, the easier the procedure will be. I will keep on reminding you, please open your legs, put your foot down. And then, the instrument though, the speculum, we call that the speculum, is a little cold. So, if the first time you do the pap smear, if it's your first time, mugugulat ka talaga if somebody touch you. So, once I go in, if you relax, it's easier for me and for you. This is very quick. It's even less than two minutes sometimes. But I need to visualize your cervix clearly. So I cannot do it halfway. So for me to visualize your cervix clearly, I have to go really inside and look at your cervix. We have several sizes of speculum. We don't use the large one for patients who have never been pregnant, no, who is very young. So we have small size speculum. We have medium. We have malapad, we have makitid, but if you're young, then we will use the smallest one first. Then if I cannot visualize it properly, we can change the speculum. So don't be afraid because it's only like two minutes, let's say max five minutes, but that will give you a lot of information about your, your reproductive health compared to if you listen to your kapitbahay or to your cousins or to your friend that it is masakit, then you did not do it and then eventually you have early stage cancer, there's no one to blame but you.